Hey guys, in today's video I have a little chronomid pattern. Uh, it's a blue dun pattern, but this one I call the Mocha Double Double. I'll be using some Togan's Scud Hook in a size 14. I'll be adding to that a Tungsten Brown Magic Togan's Bead in 2mm or 5 ths I'll be using some Ultra Thread in Blue Dun for the base color and then Ultra Thread in Rusty Brown for the uh, thorax or wing casing of this. I'll be using Uni Stretch in white for the gills. And then this stuff is sweet. This is Togan's Crony Skin in Holographic Mocha. It's got some red, some yellow, some green shimmer to it. Really makes this rib pop. And then as well, I'm adding some extra small Ultra wire in black just for a bit of a shadowing effect on that rib. To begin with, we're gonna just tie in a few wraps of uh, rusty brown to add the gill section. All you need is just a single strand of this um, uni stretch. It flattens out pretty uh, pretty tight to the hook shank, so then you can slip your bead over top of that without any problem. I always uh, kind of counterspin the uh, bobbin to make sure that the uh, UTC um, stands as flat as possible. And then nip away the excess. You just want these gills to jut out uh, slightly in front of the hook eye. And then we'll go ahead with our blue dun um, UTC 70 thread. This is a very popular color. It's uh, closely emul emulates a lot of um, you know gassed up bugs. A lot of the naturals have this color. Very popular choice. And then here I will add some of that extra small ultra wire. And then below that I'll add a strand of the holographic crony skin. Whenever you're stacking um, multiple materials for the rib section, I'll usually put the uh, wire or... Um, whatever the thicker strand that I'm going to lay down first, I put that at the top of the shank. It just helps start off that first section near the butt properly. And then below those two strands there, I'm doing two wraps just to start that first uh, segmentation properly. And then build up a little bit of a taper. Near the end of these sections, I always counterspin the bobbin and get that ultra thread to lay flat and that helps out with the transitions make sure that uh, it's uh, uniform and as streamlined of a taper as possible and then before i start wrapping the rib section i do a uh, just a two turn whip finish some people will do a um, half hitch you know make sure that that thread doesn't unravel on you as you're wrapping this up for these bugs, you always want to aim for seven segments. I doubt the fish can count, but since we're doing it, we'll make it as uh, much of a natural um, segmentation as possible. I'm a little picky with my segments. They've got to slightly increase in their, uh, in their width as you go up and down the, uh, the bug here. This wire that you lay down first, this is essential to get your rib sections uh, as accurate as possible because then that holographic crony skin will just lay right along that wire uh, in your rib section. So you want to make sure that that first um, rib is dialed and that you're happy with it. That looks nice and perfect there. And then uh, with this crony skin, you can just see the holographic properties of it. It is neat stuff. I highly suggest grabbing some of that from Togan's. Mocha color is great. They got all different types of colors that you can try. And lay that as flat as you can to that uh, ultra wire, making sure that it looks like a consistent rib with a little bit of a shadow. I'll have some pictures posted in kind of a macro lens setting so you can see exactly how this bug turns out. And then as usual, you lock off that material behind, in front, and then uh, once in behind to make sure that it's not going anywhere. And then finish up with a quick whip finish to get that blue done thread out of there. And then we're on to the rusty brown color 
for the thorax of this bug. The scud hooks as I'm tying, they are super sharp from Togans. I think there I had a little bit of a an encounter with that point and it just frayed some of my thread so you can go back and just clean some of those loose fibers off. And then here we'll have a couple of wraps. You don't want to build up this thorax too much, just enough to transition to that bead and make it a nice seamless uh, taper leading up to that. Nip away your thread at the end of this. I managed to capture a few fibers of the, the gills there. Trim that just to size, make sure that's happy. And then you can use whatever varnish you like to finish this. Some people like the UV resins. Here I'm using some uh, Sally Hansen's Tough as Nails. It's a clear nail polish finish, and the stuff works great. You can go ahead and add a uh, couple of layers for this. You want to make sure that you go as thin as possible so that those segments all stand out. And there you guys have it. That is the Mocha Double Double. It's a fun blue done pattern, and that sucker works. Thank you so much for watching.